to introduce Keith. He'll be with, with us, talking with us for the next hour, and um, he's, I'm sure he's got some really interesting stuff to say, which will help you think about putting over the story of what, what you want to say. So I'll just hand over to Keith. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm just going to say a few things about myself first, so you sort of see what my background is, and it'll give you some perspective of, uh, of, of, of what I'm saying. I've stuck up here, this is a personal view. That's not because I worry about what my employers would say to me. Um, it's that actually a huge percentage of journalists wouldn't actually agree with a lot of what I would say, um, because a lot of people are still um, convinced that, that the only way forward is for us to make and to say and to print, uh, whereas I take a slightly different view on that. My own background is a bit different from most of the... Um, good, that's a good start. Does this work? Oh, yeah. Uh, my own background is slightly different. I do blog, I do use, I do use um, uh, Twitter. Um, actually, not as much as Sue just implied, I don't think, because uh, I probably uh, go onto Twitter. I go on every day, but I probably send out half a dozen messages maximum every day. I rarely do it during the day because I'm at work. Um, so I tend to do it very early in the morning or later in the evening or uh, over the weekend. If you see me um, twittering during the day, it probably means I'm on a day off. Um, for me, the important, although I use social media, I have a really clear split in my own mind about how I use it and where I use it. So I use it in two different ways. The first one is personally. Um, this is staying in contact with friends and family, uh, and the details of that are not on there because I don't see this as part of my family and friends um, gig. This is part of me at work. So, and mostly, to be honest, I use Facebook for that because the main difference, as you will all know and will have seen and no doubt talked about already, the main difference between Facebook and the other thing, it's private. So the only people who get to see my Facebook are people who regard my family and friends. Whereas my blog uh, and Twitter, I use much more for work. Um, and so it's pretty public, it's out there. You can go and find it. Um, I don't really block anybody unless I think they're a spammer. Um, which unfortunately is far too many. But the vast majority of people who I talk to online are actually people in Leicester. And the really important thing that Twitter does for me um, as a newspaper editor is that I'm inundated with people coming in to see me in my office. But they're all of a certain sort. They're all people who would expect to go and see the editor of the local paper. Um, they're not what you might call ordinary people, people out on the street. Whereas tip, uh, using Twitter does allow me to talk to anybody, and it allows anybody to talk to me who would probably not come and knock on my door and say, can I come and see you, even though my answer would probably be yes. Um, the big thing about social media, in my view, is it's social. It's two-way, at least. It could be five-way, or 10-way, or 20-way. Um, and the social bit of it is a really important thing to me. And this workshop, Talk, whatever you want to call it, um, won't work if you don't speak to me. So I say this to you, um, stop me, ask me any questions you want to, uh, and then try and do the things I'm going to ask you to do as well. Um, stop me at any point. If you don't, this will be over by about 5-2. <laughs> what I'm not going to do today, there's a couple of things I'm not going to do today. I sat with somebody yesterday who um, is a friend, but is... Uh, not a journalist, and doesn't write, and I said to her, I'm talking to people tomorrow, what would you want to know if you if, tell her how late I did this presentation last night? And what would you want to know? And he, he said, the first two things he said, I said, no, I'm not doing that. The first one was, tell us how to write. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to write. Uh, and the main reason for that is that in a newspaper, the way we write is a very technical form of writing. I could teach you that. It's really <laughs> teach journalists how to write. Uh, and I, I saw what Sue had up on when I walked through the door, which talked about the different acts and, and stuff like that. And do you know what? I look at that and think, yeah, that's how we write. It's a very technical form of writing. You can learn it, um, but it produces a certain sort of copy. And I actually think for most of the stuff that's being talked about here, and most stuff you you shouldn't worry about that. You shouldn't worry about, did you write it like a professional journalist? You should write it the way you are. It should be your voice, not a technical voice that comes out of the sort of training we all do. 
So I'm not going to tell you how to write. And then the second thing he said to me was, well, perhaps you could tell them what they should be writing about. And again, I'm left with, well, why would I do that? Um, it seems to me the whole purpose of this is for you to go out uh, and write about the things that you think are interesting. And uh, my guess is, for each one of you, that will be something different. Um, so I'm not going to talk to you about how to write or what to write. What I've actually got is a series of slides, which I just hope will provoke some conversation uh, about something you might think about uh, when you are writing. So, if this works. Um, I, I just stuck this up. It's not very easy to see, but this is, there's a, there's a, there's a woman on um, Twitter that I know a lot of the people in Leicester are connected to. Her real name, I think, is Kate Houston, although she calls herself Kitten the Bad, and she's some form of geek. Uh, and one of the things she likes doing is plotting graphs on data. And this is actually a graph she plotted on one week of my Twitter activity. Um, it, it doesn't come out very well. I have asked it to tweet the front and do it, so it does. But that, that sort of splodge in the middle there, that yellow splodge, that's me. Um, and when I said earlier on I send out, I don't know, 50 or 60 messages in a week, that's what happens to them. I send them out, they go to various people, they pass them on. So although I'm only writing to two or three hundred people, you can see that lots of them are hubs in themselves and they talk to people. So when you were looking at social media as an influence earlier on, you can see that actually you don't have to send much out, you don't have to be talking to that many people for actually what you're saying to go massively wide. And as I said earlier on, most of the people I talk to are on Twitter are people in the Leicester area. Um, and, I, and I think if you, I'll give Sue the, the link for this, I, I've thought about what I've done before, but if you go and look at Kate's uh, blog, she's done this for all sorts of different people, and mine's quite, uh, there's quite a lot of white space on mine, but you find people use Twitter a lot and have a lot of connections, that's just a black mess. When they send a message out, it goes to so many different places, it gets passed on so many different times, that the networks are huge. To, um does that go international, or is it just...? Well, some of it definitely does, because in Cape Houston, for example, it's based somewhere in uh, Canada. Right. Um, but personally, I, mm -hmm. I, I don't make any effort to be talking to people right. outside Leicester. Are you were surprised by the people you eventually find thinking, why do they want to know what I'm saying? Um, well, I guess, you, I, I guess you've done some stuff on Twitter, but I, th I think it depends how you use it. I, 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 I talk to a lot of people who say I don't get Twitter. What's the point of it? I don't, yeah. I don't care that you got up this morning and what you have for breakfast. You know, they don't care about that. And to be honest, I don't either. Um, mm. But what I do care about is that I follow a lot of people who are interested in things that I'm interested in. That's why I follow people in Leicester, because you know, one of my main interests is Leicester. Uh, and what they're talking about in Leicester is interesting. And then secondly, what I think they do more than anything else for me is filter links. Mm. They find links to things that are interesting about Leicester. Yeah. And so for me, um, it's one of the main reasons I use it. There are some international ones, because I'm also interested in journalism, for example, and so I follow a couple of American uh, journalist professors, one from New York. Um, and, and so, you know, I can, I do pick up stuff in touch, but I don't talk to them. No. But they don't follow me, and I don't, I don't talk to them, so they actually won't show up on this. Um, most of the people on here will be Leicester people. Okay. Um, and when, again, I think one of the other things we were looking at was how do you filter out how do you time manage social media? I think that's something you might be talking a bit about this morning, but it does two things for you. You've already heard me say, I don't do it during the day, I don't have time. Mm. Um, and then the second thing, what this does actually, is filter a load of stuff out for me. Other people are looking at things in Leicester and saying, have a look at this. Yeah. And that to me helps. Do, does, do you think this sort of, um, just briefly on that, but it's um, who you know, not what you know, that, that matters, and that's how you, if you know the right people, you will get information from which you they're, they're doing it. Yeah, I do. But for me, because I've got quite a wide interest, Leicester in itself is quite a wide interest, I think. But actually, if you've got a Leicester address, I'm interested. And so actually, I will follow back and be followed by anybody with Leicester. Leicester. So, so there's a few of you in here I know I do follow, and one or two of you follow me.